Okay, this is my C sharp program so far. Um, I don't even have the base of the program made yet, but I did just start learning the language this morning. Um, if you look at the forms here, um, this is currently the um, the grid, the uh, data grid, where um, all of the stuff's going to be output to just for the moment until I build the um, actual main program that this will export to. Um, I've got a browse, uh, which will let you look through any of your files for the XML file for an army codex. Um, and then you're going to hit launch. Um, launch right now is just going to bring up a single unit right up here. Um, and yeah, in the future, launch will load the entire codex when I can when it can handle an entire codex. It'll load the entire codex's rules and everything and stats um, for you to mess with into the main program. But for now, this is just the kind of the file. Um, it, it right now this is basically just to handle the file and to um, get the data out of the XML file. Um, there's one issue I've run into right now that I haven't resolved yet, um, which is this one here. So basically I'm choosing my file, which is my test list.xml. If I try to launch it right now, my error message comes up, which is, oh shit. Um, so right now I have to use the, the link for, the shorter link for the one that's already in my project. Um, and then it'll come up with this kind of a text table here with the name, the points, and all that. And all of that is derived. That data in there is derived from from uh, this file right here, which is just a file I made in Notepad. So you can just make them in Notepad and save it as .xml, just like an HTML. Um, and you can see here, let me zoom in. Uh, it, you just make up tags as you go. There's no default formatting. I just made up the tag unit. Uh, I made up the tag name for the name of that unit points and all that. I went through all their stats. Um, and eventually, um, when the program can handle it, it will use a single, ridiculously long and complex XML file for the entire codex's rules and stats and options and everything. So, um, but for right now, I'm just doing one single unit. Um, to test out the program. Um, I guess that's pretty much it on the update right now. As you can see right here, this says unit. Um, so when it actually loads the file from the text box, which is the browsed file, um, it goes to the unit tag in there and loads everything in the unit tag, which was the whole file. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, if anybody knows how to fix that problem, let me know, or or if you're interested in helping out with this project because this is going to be an absurdly large project. It's going if I do end up doing this completely by myself, maybe a year. Um, if I have help, then well, it would be insane if we had enough people. We could probably get it done in a month. But that's probably not going to happen. But yeah, if you know, even if you just like know how to fix any of the problems we're having at a specific time. Um, just let us know because I'm going to keep posting updates of anything I get stuck at and what we've got done and um, on the Emperor's Canaries that TK site um, on the home page I am uploading all of the current versions of the program at whatever stage it's at and there's one of them up there right now the version 0 0.0.1 .0 which is all of the file data for this thing here um, so yeah that's where I'm at right now with the um, list master. I'm going to probably make the lo logo tonight until I get this problem figured out and resolved tomorrow morning. So, yeah. We'll see how that logo looks like. I'm not really sure what I want to do because it could be like a gun or it could be like a sword with like cool words over it. Um, there's so many things it could be or it could just be text with a good color, nice clean look with some text effects. Um, so I really don't know. See ya. <laughs>